advantage of it? You're not letting the moment get too big. So. How's this QB battle going so far? Do you feel like you're in the lead? Or, or you Man, to be honest, whoever come out and work the hardest, put in the time in the film room, that's going to win the job. Whoever can show the 10 guys around them, and whoever can make the 10 guys around them, that's going to win the job. The Coach Taggart told us today, he was a little surprised, that you guys came out ahead of the defense. So how much pride did you guys take in that? Because it sounds like they've been getting the upper hand until yesterday. Man, defense, man, turning up all fall camp, man. So once we got this one scrim, we said, man, we can't let this happen no more. Every time we stand up at the practice, the defense will tell them how they beat our behind. But we caught them some, um, in the scrims, man. We caught them well. We scored like 14 times, I think. But it was a big, a big day for the offense. Now, I know you've passed. You've got, I saw you get up in Brian Burns' face. You, you don't hesitate to do that. Did you, get a little, did you do a little trash talking yesterday? That's me, man. That's me. I just like having fun. Me and B. Burr have this connection where, like, every time he makes this play, he comes to find me because he knows. Once he comes to find me, it's going to be a great competition because the offense is going to get started. We're going to get the ball because I'm going to go to the offense. Something that B. Burr said, and they ain't going to like it, and we're going to get the ball. <laughs> But, man, that's just the energy that we needed around here. So you had something to say to Brian yesterday? Uh, he wasn't talking too much yesterday. Oh, that's, that's hard to do to get him quiet. I ain't quiet, huh? yesterday. Is that the way you're just kind of, you get guys fired up verbally? Is that like a muck thing down there that you guys, you've always kind of, that came from there? Or have you just always been like that? I believe so. Because uh, Mark said you got a lot of great talent down there. So when I get to talking, you got to stand up and back up your talk. So you got to talk to talk and walk to walk. So I, that's how I do it. I feel like, I feel like I'm feel i just being myself. Being able to be myself in a pretty game that I love is no better feeling. Coach Taggart and Coach Kelly both brought up Keyshawn Helton, just kind of how he's really flashed as one of the freshmen. What have you seen out of this young man? I've mean, just been seeing out, of, seeing out of him and a lot of more freshmen. Just a guy that's willing to work, come in and put in the work, willing to learn, willing to listen. When you're willing to listen, man, that makes you so much better, and that's what he does. He do everything at 100 miles per hour. He don't take no plays off. I just feel like that's one player that's going to be real good. What kind of weapon can DJ Matthews be? That's my boy, man. That's my boy. Man, sometimes I have to remind him how good he is. I took, I always tell him, if I can take my eyeballs on my head and give it to you and just let you look at yourself, you'll be amazed how everybody else makes. make. You can make plays that nobody can make. Is nobody. there a confidence issue with him at all? No. No. Okay. No, no man. That man is a hard working player, man. And he's ready to do whatever you make you want him to do. And he's ready. He'll run into the wall for the team, man. That's what I know about him, man. He's he ready to do whatever he know he can do. And I know he can do whatever he wants to do. And the way he's used the spring game, running, receiving, and the one passing through, is that kind of a, a, a preview to what you might see out of him this year? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of stuff going on right here. And we can't wait to put it off. We didn't talk to you a lot. It feels like there's kind of a, is there a newfound confidence? Like, has Ben been here a year and kind of has that helped instill something of that sort? Most definitely. I feel it. Great. I feel great now. I wish I was in this position last year. I wish I would have just came out and just be the guy that I know I could be and just be myself. But I mean, would you be now who you are now if it wasn't for last year and all that happened? I think oh, I might have made you who you are for sure. Yeah. Nobody want to see a year like that again. And I felt like if I would have just came out and be myself, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But now, it ain't a little bad. It's time to focus on this year. It's time to get better and do what we have to do. Has Coach Taggart and Coach Bell allowed you to be yourself, just their philosophy and how they coach you? Does that let you free a little bit? Most definitely. That's most definitely. They let me be myself. They tell me to turn up. See how you say I talk to be burned? They tell me, man, go ahead. That's, that's what you do to interact with God to get the offense going. You can't just sit down and have a dog day. When everybody's having a dog day, we go bad. Everything go bad. So you got to have somebody to spark the offense and have some type of fun. This game is full of fun. You can't think about this game as business all the time. It is a business game, but you got to have fun. If you're not having fun with it, I don't know what to tell you. Are you seeing that team wise that everybody's kind of rejuvenated because of this? Yes, sir. Everybody's coming out. When you walk around, you can see the smiles on everybody's face now. Like it's a different atmosphere. It's a different. It's a different vibe. How'd that line hold up? Because Coach Taggart said the line did pretty well for you yesterday, offensive line. Uh, I can't wait for him to show you guys what we've been doing. It's just been a confidence thing. Like I tell Alec every, every time I talk to him, you the, you the leader of that ship down there. Like, get him going. And that's what you do. Once you get him going, it's hard for us to be stopped. We heard yesterday was kind of the first time the offense got the better of the defense in the scrimmage kind of turned the tables. Is that a, I mean, how do you build upon that? And I mean, is that something where it's going to be that way every day now? Most definitely. Now it's going to be 
Monday we come to practice, we're gonna be real heavy. The defense gonna be coming at us. We got 69 going crazy. So we're gonna have a lot more fun than we already been having. Like Keyshawn Hilton, I mean, he was kind of an under the radar prospect, but he kind of similar to DJ, I guess, in skill set. What have you seen from him early in his time? Like I said, a guy that's willing to work, a guy that's gonna come out and play hard, he's gonna take no plays off, and he's willing to listen and learn. Are you finding a certain rapport with some guys? I mean, you've had the off season to work with guys. Some guys last year. There's some guys that you're forming a connection with right now. Man, I try to form a connection with everybody on the team. No matter if you're a walk on, you got a scholarship. I just do that because if I see you, I probably can make you smile today. If I make you smile today, that just make my day. So I feel like if I, if I build a connection with every, everyone around me, that make the team a lot more better. How do you guys keep this competition friendly? I mean, that's it's got to be tough, right? When we between the lines, it's a competition, but we don't let it get between us. We know everybody working for one goal, but we can't. Uh, where I came from, I never seen a hater. Like I never been a hater. I never hate on no one. So I feel like, hey, I can't stop what they doing. They playing good. You can't stop that. You got to be able to be able to go out there and play hard against the defense. Play good against the defense. You can't worry about what they're doing. You got to play against the people that's trying to play good against you. Get your single digit back today. What did that What did that mean to you? I mean the world, man. Let me know that hard work paying off, man. I've been putting in a lot of work, and I feel like getting noticed by being able to earn my number back. Do you guys talk about the competition, joke about it, or is it just an unspoken thing between you guys? Man, it's just going out and working every day, man. That's all it is, man. We encourage each other. We we'll make a big play. We go and encourage. We running up and down up the field with each other, man. We just having fun with it. We're not trying to make it be one of those things where everybody have so much hate in the room. We can't have that right here because we had too much of that last year, so we're just trying to change the atmosphere. And all three of us, matter of fact, even the young guys, they compete hard too. The people that just enrolled, they're trying to compete hard for a spot too, so we all just been having fun since they won. Too much of that last year? I'm saying like too much of that last year, like saying like not being able to connect with each other. Not saying no bad things, just being able to connect and understand each other a lot more. Because coming in, I didn't understand a lot more players. And then, you know, there's certain players you can talk to a certain kind of way, but you also got to be able to reach players in a different kind of way because some people don't know how to react to a certain type of tone. They don't hear the message. They don't hear the message. They just hear how the message being said. So you just got to find a way to interact with your players in a different type of way. What's the difference in knowing the playbook versus the spring versus the fall? Is it kind of night and day as far as coming out this fall? Oh, um, man, it's, it's a big difference just going out and going to doing a little bit more. Um, still got a lot of more, a lot more things to work on, but I feel like just knowing a little bit more in the offense is just helps you be more, a little bit more prepared. For you, fundamentally, is there something that you come in with every practice to focus on? Is it the same thing, or is there something different that you focus on each practice? Um, after watching film, man, I just see what I did wrong that day, and I try to focus on what I did wrong. And if I do it right, I just keep doing it right and just focus on the next thing that I've been doing wrong and try to better myself like that. How different is it for you as a quarterback running the up-tempo system as opposed to last year? I mean, and where are you along that make progressing be able to do that effectively? Um, to be honest, it makes it a lot more better because being able to get through the reads a lot faster, being able to see the defense a lot faster, it just helps you make quick decisions. So if you was in a pro-style offense, it'll be a, a ton of a lot easier because you're not moving as fast and you can be able to make the decisions as smooth as you want to. How'd you guys do that in the scrimmage? You think you guys are clicking? You're getting on progress? Was okay. that we put up 14 touchdowns yesterday, <laughs> so I feel like we're doing a lot, a lot more better just for not being 100. percent We're not at 100 percent right now, but we're close. Coach Taggart's big thing is simplicity. 